Hi, Subhash. Hi, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Yes, good evening. And how's your day going? My day is going well till now. And now I know that now this session is going to begin, so it will go well. Okay. <laughs> and you were excited ready. as well? Yeah, yeah, sure. I am excited. And I am taking care of the fact that I should keep a smile on my face. That I should yes. remember. Yes, great, great. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Well done. Yeah. So, uh, how was the week? If I would love to know more about, like, how did you spend your weekend and how was the week? Okay. So, week was uh, very good. Actually, uh, the last week I got three invitation uh, two uh, for wedding reception party. Wow. Already the wedding season another... has started. The wedding season yes. has started, yes. <laughs> so and... I had to attend those parties. So Great. yeah, there are some changes in our day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Great. Wonderful, you know. Uh, whenever I hear something like invitation sort of, like the first thing which I, comes to my mind is food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Food, food, because yes. that is the main attraction for me to go to any party, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. All right. So, Subhash, our today's topic of discussion is about climate. Okay. Uh, this is about climate change mostly. So, yeah, yeah. Before that, I just want to ask you, ma'am. Uh, as I got to know that some places in South India is receiving heavy rainfall. So, yes, yes. what about Hyderabad? Hyderabad is fine. It's good. Uh, we had some drizzling last uh, two days. But... Uh, <laughs> Good that it had rained a bit because otherwise winter doesn't come in Hyderabad. You know, I Hyderabad hi, hardly has any winter season. So now it's a bit of uh, breezy weather here. And uh, Hyderabad is not affected. Uh, but I have heard that Tamil Nadu is severely affected with the cyclone. So it has hit really hard the places, the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu. And... Uh, People are in a lot of trouble because uh, there is no electricity. People are having trouble with the water supply and food shortage. So they are actually suffering a lot from um, people st uh, staying nearby the coastal areas, basically Tamil Nadu. Yeah, yes, yes, right. Yes. Even I have seen a picture today of uh, one Bollywood star like Amir Khan was... Uh, Yes. There and he could not come out from his room. Even he was of... rescued. Even I, I, <clears throat> I also watched it today. It's right in the morning, I think, that he was rescued uh, on a, uh, you know, uh, lifeboat uh, from yes, the city yes. of Chennai, and uh, like people are actually, you know, going through a lot of struggle, struggle right now, who are staying in. Chennai or Tamil Nadu, actually Andhra Pradesh also, uh, bit for some parts of Andhra Pradesh as well. But Hyderabad is quite at the center and uh, it's in Telangana. So I think the place is still not much affected. Okay, okay. And uh, during this time, uh, like November, December, the South Indian states do receive uh, this rainfall and some occasionally yes. this time floods yes. all these things happen right right every year we do see that some sort of cyclone hits the coastal areas and uh, uh, yeah it has been happening i think you know that that uh, that's what it takes uh, like we, like that is the reason why we are discussing about climate change today <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. because we have been experiencing so many changes in our uh, in the climate of our place, uh, basically, you know, like uh, we have been staying in this country for so long, and uh, I remember the the all of a sudden, like when, now when we uh, what we are experiencing extreme climates, right? If it is hot, then it is extreme hot. If it is cold, then it is extreme cold. Be, uh, I'm not talking of Hyderabad, but uh, in other places as well. 
but at the same time i am coming from a place like my native place uh, uh, is a pl- <coughs> it, was, it was very near to hill very near to hill so uh, earlier you know that place used to have a very uh, like moderate climate there was never extreme heat or so, sort of a thing during summer season but this year i got to hear that they the, the temperature had got up to 42 degree 43 degree like people could not which, believe uh, which place ma'am uh, it's siliguri uh, basically oh, it must be siliguri the place very near to our place not very yes. far from guwahati yes 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 i know so so by uh, the way uh, i'm sorry to interrupt since yeah. you have uh, mentioned about siliguri so are you bengal yes 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 okay I'm okay bengal. so i uh, have you know i have stayed at that place lived in that place for so long and when i was young i have seen you know the temperature being very comfortable temperature throughout the year we never had such uh, you know exhausting summer season in our city but now you know in last 2 3 years i have been seeing maybe it is because of the deforestation the, the, the amount of trees being cut down that people in that place you know they are experiencing extreme hot climates during uh, summer season earlier it used yeah. to rain i know guwahati also have similar weather con- climate condition and you know earlier yes. it used to rain frequently like very often yes, it yes. used to rain after every two three <coughs> years it would rain because those areas are surrounded by uh, forests right so, yeah so climate was comfortable in those days but now there is a huge change in the climate of those areas so that's what you know uh, like i should be i shouldn't be talking you should be talking now so uh, <laughs> let's have a quick uh, you know quick session of uh, questions so tell me why do you think uh, that you know climate change is happening what is the reason the main reason that we know is that because of uh, using uh, this fossil fuel the burning of fossil fuel like oil coal natural gas so creates uh, this and the earth getting warmer and warmer day by day and this has also has effect on uh, glaciers also and for that this uh, ice are melting and creating uh, increasing the sea level also right. and for that some of the places are in danger of uh, g- getting submerged with uh, this water and it is also there that some places uh, some islands also going to be completely under water after exactly. many years some years right. yeah so it is all because of our own creation the human activities and out uh, in the name of development uh, we are playing with the natural uh, resources uh, not uh, actually there are something that we need and that is required what out of greed people do excessively yes which can be done with a restriction so that there is a balance but right. it is not there as you mentioned that cutting trees so right. one uh, there is no control and wanton destruction of forest are causing heavy uh, floods right so that is also all these things are creating by people this these are the main reason that there is a uh, change in climate and we are suffering for that Exactly. here in uh, guwahati particularly the place that i hail from in assam that is called a small town dunnuwa so we experienced there when we were <coughs> child at that time there was uh, during winter winter used to start uh, set in uh, say uh, from september mm-hmm. and it uh, and uh, it till uh, march so far i remember but yeah. nowadays we hardly get two months say mm-hmm. december and january exactly and even then in december and january the 
amount of uh, coldness that we experience at a time it is no more there right right i i i can uh, you know actually understand what you are trying to explain because the similar situation i have also experienced in my at my native place uh, that is the thing yeah, uh, exactly because you know earlier in earlier times uh, uh, winter season used to set by the end of uh, you know uh, by the beginning of we can say october right uh if i know yeah. if i do not even say about <coughs> september at least october by big you know uh winter used to be there and then we had at least three four five months of uh winter season and uh, temperature used to drop a lot i know i remember and uh, then you know but all of a sudden these climatic issues uh like the i can say that global warming has affected the entire climate of the earth in such a way and as you pointed out the correct uh, reason uh, that uh, you know reason behind these climate change that we humans and our own needs and necessities have you know uh, brought this consequence can you tell me uh, two or three steps through which we can change bring a change to lower down the rate of this climatic change okay so one um, one main thing that uh, we can do and actually we are trying to do now uh, governments not only in india but all over the world are getting mm. into it like uh, they are trying to uh, how to say it uh, switch over from fossil mm. fuel to this uh, electric uh, right in you know, a electrical energy this battery or you no know, this electrical vehicles are coming coming in future right. Right. so after uh, already it has started but very in low scale but it will go uh, by the year 2030 i think there will be many vehicles on the road uh, right. electrical vehicles so it is <laughs> on the cards it will coming very soon and right. other than that uh, one thing that afforestation so okay. uh, planting of sapling is another thing uh, that can right. be done wherever okay. required wherever the places are there we should plant trees that will help us and mm -hmm. consuming of this fossil fuel etc in a controlled manner not uh, when we see that it is affecting us mm -hmm. uh, so we should use it in such a manner that and not Effect. And there is a uh, debates going on between all over the world, like countries, even this uh, USA also, they are not accepting this, that everybody is pointing uh, finger to them that they are uh, creating more and more uh, these things, uh, like burning of uh, fossil fuel, there is no control over that. So there is a uh, convention also happen among the countries i just forgot the name of that convention every year or after so, uh, four or five years that happen mm -hmm. and everybody uh, sorry every country in their convention try to uh, point out wh who are the which are the countries they are making uh, these things more and more uh, mm -hmm. polluted or like that they are polluting the climate more yeah but you know this uh, america usa being a superpower they right. don't listen to these other countries they right. just go their way <laughs> and doing by just to earn money <clears throat> yes ignoring right. the fact that it will ultimately affect all of us i think they are so, still over this verge of you know expectation that they have a lower population so it is not going to affect them in that way uh, the way you know indians are getting affected because we have a, a huge population compared to that but still if we that is the negligence which everybody has done right in their lives like all of us have neglected this part and we have always taken into for granted that you know okay we still have enough time uh, we can consume these resources as much as possible and uh, this has brought the consequences now we can see the different changes in the climatic condition right yes 
Yes, yes, and we are creating problems for the future generation. They are exactly. going to suffer more than us. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So as you said that you know that uh, limited resources <coughs> of uh, fossil fuel. One thing we can do is that you know uh, uh, I have seen ma ma majorly in you know all the big cities a lot of traffic jams now nowadays you know in, on the roads because of excessive amount of vehicles on the road. So mm -hmm. we have been telling people a lot about carpooling. Try to use public transport system. Uh, try to have carpooling system where you know you can all together like uh, four or five members they can hire one particular vehicle and that's how they can go instead of individually using one car for one, each person right like uh, this is the reason that we can avoid tra traffic also in that way and we can help uh, to sustain or you know to maintain the climate at our own level that's what we can do if we talk yes, of our... uh, even saving of expenditure also that's exactly. where you will use you will consume less fuel so you will save your money also so it's a win-win situation but the people are not uh, yeah. uh going and doing because uh, those that people is, that is what money, my they... next question was that why do you <laughs> think that people are not trying to save fuel what is the reason actually people do think only about themselves that I have money, I can go buy a car. So what is the use of, uh, uh, they don't feel like that. They, uh, the natural tendency you have money, you know, they take the pride in going in a car. And you know, you will find that most of the people who have money, they keep two, three cars. Mm -hmm. And right. what is the use of keeping uh, so many cars when you can do with one car? Exactly. So there is uh, one thing that people uh, have a ten tendency to show up exactly. so when you have money you are showing up that yeah i had this many number of cars i can go uh, with uh, why should i share with another person going by car this is the tendency of people and uh, as you uh, right you said the car pulling it is not a a new concept it had been very long it was thought long ago but people are not doing this exactly i think people have somewhere we feel that people have become socially not so conscious now still and uh, that is the reason you know they think of their own comfort at first and uh, see i can understand that you might be having emergency at work few days in a month where you have to rush uh, to your workplace uh, immediately or maybe on time or you cannot consider that uh, like some days are important but most of the days we can make it through public transport system right if we yeah. have the yeah. habit because in india you have a good access of public transportation uh, yeah. in most of the uh, cities in most of the major cities and in that way we can help in help to some extent right similarly the use of you know uh gas cylinders and all i have seen people having multiple cylinders at home <laughs> i have seen that so i sometimes you know realize I, I'm, like i do not understand that why do people keep such habits why do they ha have such sort of habits that you know that some people are not even able to afford a gas cylinder and here you are having <laughs> where there are only three members in the family or four members in the family but still they are keeping five to six cylinders <laughs> 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 so this is something you know like i think people have become morally unconscious i uh, i think ma'am here there is some earlier what happened that gas cylinders were not available uh used because uh suppose i have one cylinder that goes around one month hmm. so i was always uh in a kind of tension that after when it will run out of the gas so right. whether i will get the next one in time or not right. and it so happened that even after uh, running out of gas i did not get a cylinder for 10 12 days hmm. i have to manage in some other way to right. run my uh, kitchen burning right. so earlier this was there and people were afraid of this thing and they used to keep more than one cylinder 
but mm. nowadays i think it is not necessary because even one within one or two days we get uh, yes. cylinder after yes. ordering this. yes so yes. it has been made available to everyone whoever they are and earlier there was a what to say these uh, uh, i get, these i understand agencies. Right, guess right. agencies they used to manipulate it to mm. earn some money and exactly. making uh, selling those uh, extra in cylinders to uh, in black market. Right. Yes, so it has been government has taken a very good step and now it is no longer there. So we are getting these cylinders in time, so there is right. no more such thing, right? Yes. Right, correct. All right, Subhash, it's wonderful having conversation with you. And every time I talk to you and every time I, you know, run out of time, like I extend my sessions. So uh, have a nice uh, week ahead and uh, weekend is about to come. So, yeah, yes. yes good, uh, good it was again a very good session. I enjoyed the session. And before leaving this session, I just want you to tell, uh, sorry, I want to tell you that you are going to get a new dispensation in your uh, state. So okay. I think everything will be okay. You will enjoy <laughs> the coming days. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Subhash. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good yes. night.